So this is how I had this set up to run the Raider with this uh, three spool control. But as you can see, the hoses are tight against the seat and I'm unable to get the seat back any further. So plan B, didn't want to do it. This worked well, very good control. Uh, but now I'm gonna go to an electronic spool. Like I say, it's not what I want, but we gotta do what we gotta do. So I'll show you what I got here after a bit. How is everyone today? Well, after a couple hundred trips to Princess Auto and uh, getting hose fittings, hoses, cylinders, all that type of stuff, I finally got most of the stuff together, ready to uh, give her a try on the new system. I'm just gonna show you what I've got here. So if you look in here, I've got that electronic switch that all wired in from Summit Hydraulics. And I've got this four valve bank to run all the pistons. I've got two lines coming from my third function from the front that is giving me a fifth option. So you can see all the hoses. Some of them are a little long and but anyway, I have to deal with that. I have a selector valve here that I can either make the blade angle back and forth or I can select it to here and that will be my ripper in the back. So I got options there. So I've had to put a fire extinguisher on and I've got a pump tank, forestry pump tank that I need to put on too by the code from DNR. There's my weights, there's my ripper, my adjustable, my uh, hydraulic top plank for my three point hitch I use for the ripper. So I added this cylinder here to be able to swing the blade back and forth. So there's lots of options on this unit. And this unit here will dog walk the trailer sideways. So lots of hydraulic options on this little tractor. So this function here, one, two, will do my blade up and down so I can angle it if I want. Um, uh, back up and down one side higher than the other this one is for my angle I can go approximately 45 degrees with that and this one here will run the blade sideways so I've got lots of options I'm gonna go try it here after a bit so I'm gonna start the tractor and set up the other camera and show you the different functions so the first function I'm gonna use is I'm going to sidestep the trailer. As you can see, I can sidestep over and back. It gives me that option. Number four will skew the blade. That gives me lots of option there. Number three, angle both ways, lots of options, and two and one and two up and down. So I can put one side up, one side down, gives me lots of options for uh, movability. Now it's just to get used to running these uh, these controls. So, pretty straightforward. Got a lot of options. And then I can also, the uh, I can turn the valve bank and I can run my rear ripper. So, we're gonna, this afternoon we're gonna go do a little bit in the front yard where I'm working and play with it a little bit. Now, biggest thing I have to watch, because I broke it the first time, 
is this nipple right there when I lifted it up so I'll have to remember to skew the blade over and uh, before I lift it up so it don't hit the, the frame here but that's the that's the bird in a nutshell and uh, the first time I tried it worked pretty good so looking forward to getting some trail work done pretty soon here now I think I'll probably do some on probably Thursday I work Wednesday and I'll probably go do some on Thursday so that's where we're at I want to run it a little bit more before I paint it and uh, we'll paint it probably orange and I'll probably probably add another little plate back here to put my uh, strobe light on but that's it I think she's gonna work pretty good and yeah, we'll show you a working video here in the front yard after lunch so for a little tractor it works pretty good it seemed to have lots of power it wasn't uh, pulling hard it's uh, You've got to kind of use your head a little bit. The tractor's only so big, and it was, it's only going to cut so much. So, you know, uh, the first time I tried it, I was very impressed with how it cut. And I think it's going to work pretty awesome. And hopefully I can get a few more trails next year to do. This year I've uh, probably got my plate full. We'll see, maybe in the fall, if somebody calls, maybe do a section or two later in the fall. So... That's it for now, and I'm going to go up, and I'll set the camera up after lunch, and we'll do some, some videos out in the front yard, trying to get my yard set up and smoothened up, and so the biggest reason why I built this is last year I did a section of trail at about three kilometers with the box blade, and the box blade comes out about six inches past the tire and it's not quite enough for the trail there's a lot of dirt that has been moved to the outside of the trail and this thing here with the ability to dog walk the trailer to the uh, right side of the tractor keeps me on the trail puts all the rugged uh, metal and stuff into the bushes so I don't have to worry about it and I can bring that dirt back in and the fact that it actually is like a grater it will smoothen out better I had a lot of whoopie doos throughout the trail after I did it with the box blade the box blade will follow the tractor the tractor is not very long and this this absolutely levels it out pretty good now we are talking a four-wheeler trail so it doesn't have to be perfect but I would like to get into doing some driveways and stuff like that so and maybe a little bit of landscaping for someone doing a lawn this will certainly certainly make things go a lot quicker for people now I could also add a link here um, I can turn this by hand of course and that can set the pitch of the blade so you roll it this way more it cuts more you roll it that way more it doesn't cut as much it's good for leveling so I can do it by hand it's not something I'm gonna do a lot so and right now I've only got five functions on the back of the tractor so there's the five functions I got the four on the electric I got the two hoses that are coming from my diverter valve up here for my third function so it gives me five options plus my switch that I have that actually gives me six hydraulic options in this machine so pretty pleased so far how it's working out and we'll give you a little bit of show there this afternoon do a little bit of grading and uh, play with it a little bit now in the first of the video I showed you what I had started with and I was quite pleased with the the hydraulic spool but just didn't give me room in the cab and this will certainly make things a lot more comfortable as I'm going to spend a lot of time in the tractor doing 
30 plus kilometers of trail. So stay tuned. We'll have an action video coming up shortly.